Hello everyone, good morning. Good morning from Sicily. Ciao, picciotte, picciotti. It's not good morning. It's night here in Sicily. For, for us it's night, but uh, for someone it's a yes. morning, for someone else it's a late night. So uh, you are right. perhaps the most of people are in the uh, United States now and Canada, so it's morning. And so good morning <laughs> for the Australian friends who will Ooh, see sorry. the live broadcast tomorrow morning. So we can say good morning to you too. So what is it, your? Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, you I, forgot! I, John, I, I forgot to to start uh, with this. Play John. my my home intro. <laughs> so guys. <laughs> this is another uh, great uh, appointment uh, to talk about uh, proud Sicilians around the world. This time we we have the special special family. Not uh, not only a person. We have five different persons uh, all around the United States. Yeah. Uh, one one is in in Italy. Yeah. Actually, one is in Italy. Yeah. So we are talking about the beautiful family Locarro, and uh, they I, are from uh, Motta da Fermo and are, Tusa. Yeah, two beautiful uh, small villages in uh, in the province of Messina. Actually, uh, Tusa and Motta da Fermo are in the in the middle between uh, Palermo and Messina. Uh, I, I will say something about uh, this villages later but let's introduce uh the locarro family guys let's go so hello kevin hey. hello joe hey. hello marianne oh. hello kathleen <laughs> and hello karen <laughs> hello everyone guys hello. <laughs> so Welcome, welcome to stories of processilians around the world. <laughs> How are you guys? Wonderful. How are you? We're good. We're good. Hey, go, work up. <laughs> no, oh, we care. have another Whoa. guest. We have another guest. He's not Sicilian, though. I got this oh. on. <laughs> okay, you can go out. <laughs> okay, you can stay. No, no, we, we, we are tolerant. We are tolerant. All right. Every, everybody's invited. <laughs> because Sicily is the land of... Uh, Sicily uh, is a melting pot. Sicily uh, hosted thousands and thousands of people uh, during the over the centuries so we are ready to upset everyone so kathleen you can you can tell him to to come back again <laughs> uh, sorry i him out he's a check <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's shy now of course yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how i every, think that how is everything go. in sicily <laughs> sicily now yes it's uh, ten, uh, uh, five past ten right now, p.m. Of course. So uh, Sicily. I guess to come in Sicilia. Ah, I was going. Okay. A posto siamo buona cominciamo. E ancora non divuto. No, because that's uh, that's I'm. Uh, I just say I didn't dream. So this is the reason why I didn't understand the the question. <laughs> No, um, we are going very, it's fine because we are out of the uh, lockdown. We are out of the uh, quarantine. So we are allowed to, to go out, to, to go everywhere now, just in, uh, in, the, in the island, because we are not allowed to go outside of Sicily, uh, only for uh, uh, special reasons. Uh, but now we can we can meet our friends. We can uh, we can go to the beach. We can uh, we can do sport. Uh, uh, but of course, this is a sort of uh, how do you say lockdown uh, uh, one point uh, two or three because uh, we will be out of the lockdown when we will be ready to host our friends from United States, from Canada, from Australia. Uh, so uh, will be a, will be a, um, a good uh, phase on June 
third, when we will be able to uh, to host the um, clients, customers from the from the rest of Europe. Uh, but we we need you guys. We need American people. We need uh, Canadian and Australian people. Uh, we're, we're coming. We're coming next year. Yeah, we, we know, know. We, we know. know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I'm working on your uh, itinerary, Karen. I'm working hey. on your trip. So, <laughs> so we, be patient. Just uh, just no, be patient. I, I, it's already it's already done, but I need to send it to you so you can um, put in some wineries and some. Yeah, sure, cooking, of course. And, sure. Um, um authentic experiences some restaurants and some tours in catania and uh, taramina they they are must in our tours so it's not a surprise uh, every uh, tours of sicily uh includes uh, uh not not just one but at least a couple of three uh wine tastings beautiful wineries in particular on mount etna in particular in, in the area of marsala they are very popular in uh, in the world because of the wine uh, of Mount Etna is, is wonderful, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have every time a lot of different uh, food experiences. Every every day a different uh, food tasting, uh, a meeting with local people, local producers. So our tours are always oriented to the to the food and wine. So. Don't worry because it's uh, <laughs> it will be a special treat. Good, so, good. As long so as you say I, food, I, as long as you say food and wine, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know. As long no as doubt. there's cheese and wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, let's talk about you because yes. I I didn't introduce you enough. And I want to uh, thank uh, Karen. Yeah, because yeah. She. So Karen, Karen, for for the other friends in the world, guys, Karen made a great job. Uh, she's not only a processilian; she make uh, an investigation that you you don't know how many how many efforts she made to I just say to um, to investigate uh, her own family roots. Uh, she sent us. Uh, 37, 38 yeah. different pages of uh, <laughs> memories about her family, uh, about her, uh, um, how do you but, say? But, uh, but Marianne wrote Genealogic five. tree, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and look at these beautiful uh, trees uh, be, behind. Yeah. yeah, please, Karen, show the tree. Please show, show us. This is amazing. So we are talking about a beautiful family that has roots uh, in the 16th century. Uh, Am I right? Uh, Am I right, no, Karen? No, I um, about uh, 30, 40 years ago, I started the family tree. Um, and I only have gone back to our great grandparents. Yeah. So, but you, you wrote us that you your family as a an origin yes. in the 16th yes. century. Yes. It's an, an important the, family. Yes, it's a very important family. The Lacaro family, along with the Prince Lancelot, I believe in the 1600s or 1700s, uh, Giuseppe Curva or someone from Otto da Fermo can correct me on the comments, please. Um, the Prince and the Lacaro family rebuilt the. Um, Church of San Rocco, which is yeah. the most important church in Moto da Fermo. Yeah. And I have a painting of it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Wow. Okay. Oh. Um, ah, I can't. Okay. Carmelo Elmo is the artist of this yeah. painting. Um, he is the painter from Moto de Fermo, but lives in uh, um, Santo, Stef, uh, Santo, Santo Stefano di Camastra. Di Camastra. Yeah. Yes. He, he and another painter, Made, uh -huh. made um, the Stations of the Cross in a courtyard in uh, the Basilica di Assisi, 
Wow. wow. So um, he is my friend and he gave Kathleen and me and our other um, and John, who you saw Kathleen's husband, he gave us a tour and he'll give us a tour again next year. Um, and I asked him to make two plates for me, one of Moto da Fermo San Rocco, because it is the most Beautiful. important and because it is very important for the Lacaro family because the Lacaro family, along with the prince, rebuilt the existing church that was there. And they were builders. And the builders have been in our family for generations. Joe and Kevin's father were, was a builder and he was a carpenter. My father was a builder. And other branches of the Lacaro family that went to the United States were all builders, also Giuseppe Locarro. And uh, if you go to Moto da Fermo, above the door, inside and outside on the pillar, there is a carro. Carro in English means wagon. So yeah. they have, um, you know, in the stone or the uh, whatever it is made out of, they have carved a wagon for the family of Lucarro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, I just went black. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, so, um, so the Lucaro family, there are still Lucaros in Molto de Fermo, but from our branch, which is this branch here, um, there is only one sister's descendants left. And wow. That is and that is Isidora. Isidora, uh -huh. the, the descendants from her are Fazio, the familia Fazio, because she mm -hmm. married. And I am in contact with almost all of them um, I, because I have gone back and forth to Sicily many times since I've moved to Italy back in 1992. And I am the only Lacaro, the only one of about a hundred people in the United States that have come back to the roots, even though I'm not in Sicily, but I'm in Italy. Um, and <clears throat> Tusa, excuse me. Uh, this is the convent in Tusa. Wow. Okay. That's so beautiful. And um, Atusa is where our grandmother. Now, Kathleen's is both sides of her family. She is not only from the Locato. Her great grandmother was my grandfather's sister. Uh huh. And she was the only female to make the move out of the seven brothers and sisters to the United States. Okay, okay. Now, my grandmother, our grandmother, Antonia, who changed her name to Antoinette, she came to the United States in 1915 with the, yeah. their second child because the first yeah. child, Rocco, died at three years old. So this tra tragedy brought her to the United States and she waited on a bench on in Ellis Island all night long for our grandfather to come and pick her up. Yeah. And she had never been out of Sicily, had never been in a city, had never seen anyone from a different race. And it, she was very, very courageous. And they moved to Passaic, New Jersey, where many, many, many immigrants from Malta moved, but my grandmother missed having a garden and having fresh vegetables and growing because in Malta de Fermo, this is how they still live today. Everybody has a little piece of land to grow their fresh vegetables and they have their fruit trees. So they bought property in East Rutherford and Kathleen's family, um, Maria married, did Maria marry a presto, Kathleen? No, DiPietro. 
the Petro. Okay. And then eventually somebody. And then my Presto. grandmother married Presto. Okay. Okay. Maria's and daughter, who's my grandmother. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Kathleen's family lived in the next town from us. And do you know that Kathleen and I never met each other until we met in Lucca, Italy? Oh. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. In 2011. I knew Karen's brothers, but not Karen. And my, the story was that my mother would always tell us, yeah, you have cousins in the next town, but I don't know how we're really related. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it was unfortunate that everyone then started passing away. And actually, it was um, at one of my uncle's funerals that I met up with one of Karen's brothers who then connected us to Karen in Milan. So uh, if you could follow that, then you're better than Sherlock Holmes. So uh. Wow. <laughs> Great investigation. <laughs> so. It's a great investigation. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. I'm, part, I'm uh, thrilled to be part of the LaCaro family. And, um, you know, I appreciate all the work that Karen put into the family tree. And then it also helped us on our side to uh, put pieces together that we really didn't even know about. So, yeah, it's amazing how we're all connected. Amazing. It's amazing, guys. Ka Karen made a great, great job. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Uh, yeah. And, well, uh, it's, it's, I really believe that there is a keeper of the family, and I just happen to be that person. Um, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Marianne knows a lot of the family stories um, as far as our father and uh, Karen's father. And uh, Marianne uh, was the daughter of Josephine. And yeah. uh, we all have very fond memories of Josephine. And uh, Aunt Josephine used to bring the family together every Sunday, would make homemade raviolis. <laughs> and uh, we spent we spent most of our childhood every Sunday with the family going to have fresh pasta that was made by Josephine. So, Marianne, uh, sorry, Marianne, which is your uh, best memories you have uh, uh, with your family, with your Sicilian family? <laughs> well, when we were five years old, uh, when I was five years old, my mother, my two brothers and I moved in with the family house with my grandmother and grandfather. And uh, I think uh, they only spoke, uh, only Italian was spoken in the house, but somehow or another, uh, my grandparents understood what I was talking about and I understood them because they were our primary caretakers when my mom was at work. Yeah. And the big, the big thing was family, it was always family. Um, mm. They always expected, uh, most of the uncles stopped over every single day. If it wasn't for breakfast, it was after work to have a cup of coffee or an egg sandwich or whatever my grandmother was cooking. And she really ex expected that. And then um, once a week, she would have a, a pasta night. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Once a night, once a week, she would have a pasta night and everyone was expected to be there. Now, there were eight children, and most of them were in walking distance or a short car ride. So with eight children and their spouses and uh, all their children, the, ho the house was mobbed. But it was such an exciting and wonderful place. <laughs> uh, I had a, a friend from school, and she, her heritage was German, and she, she always hoped that she would be invited to our house on spaghetti night because she just loved being around everyone, and we were all we were all um, uh, everybody knew one another and took care of one another. And it, naturally, with a family that side, there were arguments, but it was never a long term. Everything was forgiven in a short term, and everyone was always there to help. Actually, uh, Uncle Marty, Uncle Tony, uh, they built three or four homes for one another. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, one, but, of the, but, one of the things my grandmother would do, though, was uh, she had a lot of uh, customs. And one of the things she would do, she 
if a new place was being built, she would sprinkle salt around it and pray to expel the evil spirits. So, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that this, this, was this, that, yeah. that was different. And uh, another thing, she had all, I mean, she didn't believe in doctors too, but she had all her homemade res, uh, remedies. Mm -hmm. uh, she used a lot of olive oil and salt and um, herbs and things. And uh, my favorite is when I had a belly button and she would hang me upside down down and shake me and i would i would start laughing and the belly button would go belly, belly ache would go away and then the other uh, uh, the other one that i hated i had boils at one time and she would take milk and bread and squeeze them and i oh i fought her every inch of the way and then somebody finally told me they would get me skates my aunt pat if i let grandma <laughs> squeeze my boils so I did, and I got my skates, and I loved them for years. So, so our uh, our grandfather um, was a mason, and he was a uh, master mason in Sicily. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and he ended up actually uh, he he had got lime because uh, early they would mix the cement and they would add lime to it, and he got lime in his eyes and became blinded from the lime in his eyes. But he uh, also taught his sons, my uh, Uncle Tony, Karen's father, my father, Mario, was a stonemason. And then Tony and Mario taught all of the other cousins, and we all worked for them growing up. Our whole childhood, we worked uh, in construction on the weekends and during the summertime. And uh, my father and Uncle Tony built a number of houses. And we built our house. We, the whole family lived on John Street. And then Karen's family lived very far away around the block. So they, <laughs> they, they were very far away. And so we had to walk down the block to get to them. But most of the family lived in four or five houses that were in a row. And wow. my father built uh, one of the first Uncle houses Rocky, down the street. Uncle Rocky's. Uncle Rocky's house was right next to it. And then Marianne's mother, Josephine, moved into the top floor of the house that my father built. And then all I had to do was walk up the stairs for pasta dinner. So, uh, <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. So they, they taught, the, the whole family took that tradition on and my, my father taught all of us and, and Uncle Tony taught his sons how to uh, do construction work. And my so, brother's um, son. Yeah. So, guys, uh, yeah. so don't, don't you speak any Sicilian dialects? Only, only Marianne can understand something. Um, I want. I have a question because <laughs> yeah. there is a phrase that my brothers and sisters. I'm the youngest of five. Uh huh. And when we get mad or something happens like, uh -huh. we say this phrase and every time i ask a sicilian is this what does this mean they look at me like what <laughs> because it was it's a hundred years old this phrase and it probably got distorted after uh -huh. time um, we, which is the on, phrase before we go on to the phrase i just want to show the house Urgh, i don't know how to do this <laughs> oh, yes. oh wow it's a That's huge her. house that was the first uh, house wow that was the family that, that was the so family house a, and there was a garden that went for about an acre or two right it was wow. about an acre huge uh, on this side of the house they used to graze goats yeah <laughs> yes yeah. and the, all the other was uh vegetables and my yeah. favorite was fig trees. Um, oh, right. Fig right. trees, yes, sure. Oh, and a lot of Sicilian the, love. My, my yeah. father fig. had a fig tree, and he had to wrap it in plastic for the winter because yeah. in New Jersey is much colder than Sicily. And yeah. we would get about three figs a year. Oh. <laughs> but but uh, it's but, enough, guys. But so but it's, Tony, it's beautiful. Yeah. If you are if you are able to to save uh, a fig tree in uh, in New Jersey, 
you made a great <laughs> job. So no, no matter if you if you pick just one fig or two figs, it's a great job, guys. <laughs> so you, you were talking about the the strange phrase in the oh, oh yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Say again <laughs> slowly. Fana 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 Joe, Joe, do you remember saying that? Mary, no, I don't remember, remember that one. I remember Yaka de Pucci La Espana, but that was from my father. <laughs> 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 what are you saying, guys? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> this is not Sicilian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not Sicilian. No, 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 all, no, please. Yeah. Say again, say again, say again, say again. Say again. Cocuzza. Cocuzza. Mm -hmm. Cocuzza. 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 Cocuzza and zucchini. Zucchini. Zucchini, yeah. yes. Allora. Say again. Fanabala. Fanabala. Cocuzza. Chista denna. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to build in my mind the the meaning, but I yeah. I only Ma understand just something. one word. Mary and say something in Sicilian. <laughs> let, I can't let, say me, let me see if someone can uh, write in the comments. Uh, no, even Frank Ragusa. Uh, say what? <laughs> no, no, nobody. All, no, all we knew. Uh, no, uh, no. All, all we knew that if we heard Sicilian, we would run because we knew we were in trouble. <laughs> no, but uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to give up, guys. I don't want to give up. We I, think about this. No, no, no. I, I want to listen. I want to hear it all right, how one about more time. One. Oh, um, Kathleen. Yeah, when we were growing up, my mother, her family is Sicilian, both um, her father and mother. And whenever my mother would get angry at us, she'd go, a fangul. That's the word I remember. This is clear. This is pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty we, we, clear. We, talk, we talk about the Sicilian nonverbal communication. Sometimes... Uh, uh, a gesture like this is um, more than hundred words. So it's if you if you combine a gesture with a uh, something like you said, uh, you you reach a great result because it's uh, it's more than hundred thousand words. I guess this that's the only Sicilian we know. We all know this. <laughs> 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 Mi manchi mano, mi manchi mano, Marianne. What's that? Mi manchi eh. mano. Mi manchu i mano, meglio con parlo. Oh, mano, the hand, yes. È meglio, it's, it's better I don't say anything, it's better I bite my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> when, when, you, when you don't want to say, when you don't want to offend someone, when you don't want to say something um, that could be dangerous because yeah. you you put in a the relation in a in, a, in trouble and risk so it's better to ah uh, i don't i don't say anything <laughs> <laughs> so i i have a question uh, no no i would i would like uh, to to listen again the uh, uh, uh karen yeah. and joe phrase so both uh, both but, but, but before <laughs> i say my phrase our grandmother had a phrase that a hundred children couldn't take care of one parent. Can you say that in Sicilian for Marianne? Can't hear. No. You can't hear? You put it back in. Do, do you know the Sicilian phrase for that idiomatic expression? Uh, what? A parent can take care of a hundred children, but a hundred children can't take care of one parent. It is in Sicilian. She, our grandmother used to say that, but I don't know it in Sicilian. I don't know in Sicilian. I don't... Marianne, do you remember? I don't remember her saying that, no. No, my no, father no. said. My father used to say I'm that. sure. Maybe mm. she did, yeah. No, never... 
Never heard. Never it. heard it. Um, no. I, I understand. I understand the meaning, but I never heard a, a proverb or a phrase in like this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Okay. Anyway. I'm trying to to remember something. But yes, I but I don't remember this. I don't. We'll think about this. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Maybe in the middle of the, of the night we can uh, remember may, this. Someone... But at this moment. Me, mo, uh, molto da fermo, ti chiedo voi di scrivere su commenti perché voi forse, oh mamma, è andato via, sono andata via, ok. No, 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 eh, you're, no, alive. no you're alive. Um, no, è che perché quando non muove il mouse e eh, va via. Sì, molto ma qui hear you. Sapete questa espressione eh, che un genitore può curare 100 figli ma 100 figli non possono curare un genitore in siciliano di letto mottese scrivete sotto nei commenti per favore <ride> scrivi 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 anche tu Rosella so guys We don't, we don't know this expression, this phrase in... Uh, so help us! <laughs> help us! If you have any a Sicilian origin from Motta da Fermo or from Tusa or from Caronia or from Santo Stefano di Camastra, perhaps you know this expression and you can help us. Right. I, guys, I, I forgot to say, to mention something important. My, um, my origin from my mother's side is from Caronia. Yeah. So we are very, very close. Caronia is a small village near Motta da Fermo. Oh, really? About, about uh, five uh, miles, no more than, wow. than five miles. Ah. Very, very close. So it's very yeah, yeah. funny. You know, you we have, have the same, same common origin. We have the same eyebrows like in some of our family members. <laughs> 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 I, I don't take it uh, away, just like new generations. I, I'm, I'm proud of my eyebrows. <laughs> That's good. Right. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm too old to, to be, how do you say, uh, shy, to be, um, uh, to, to have some shame about, about my eyebrow. <laughs> you are beautiful. Don't worry, Janka. <laughs> I don't I don't yeah. mind guys. I don't mind what she says, I don't mind what people say. Uh -huh. I go home, I go ahead with my my street. Like so. a proud Sicilian. I don't mind. I, I think I think this is not important. We have many more important things than the hybrids. And Janka, can we can each person say a little bit about themselves? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. Let's start. <laughs> Who start? Who start? Who's the Kevin, first? Go for it. All right, Joe. Kevin. Joe. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin from Pasadena. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Kevin Locaro. I live in Pasadena, California. Uh, I'm a film editor that's currently working on animation at Disney. Wow. Yeah. Great and, job. Uh, as far as the uh, Sicilian, I, I don't know much about it. By the time I came around. We were pretty Americanized, so um, there was never Italian talked or anything like that. Um, most of the stories I heard were about the immediate family. Um, even stories about the grandparents, I barely heard about. Um, in fact, um, you know, Aunt Joe that we all talked about when I came around, she lived upstairs from us. Um, we all lived on the same block, and every neighbor was a relative. But people moved around. Um, Josephine lived in at least three different places, and but from I remember, um, she was upstairs, downstairs, and then at one point too, um, uh, Joe and our our mother, our grandmother, lived upstairs at one point uh, for a while. So, yeah, yeah, our our family's kind of wove together. Um, our mother is Dutch, and she comes from a family of twelve, wow. and. Um, Marianne's brother married my mother's sister and had kids. So um, they're all the same age as me. So we played together as kids and we were extremely related from both sides. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, Uncle, Butchie, Uncle Butchie was our cousin and our uncle. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cousin, uncle, uh, father, grandfather, everyone. Yeah, so that would make um, his kids were my first and second cousin at the same time. So that was pretty amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. Kevin is the youngest of 22 first cousins. Wow, uh, 22. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but I'm in my 50s. So, uh, if that's young, then whatever. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, so I'll jump in. Um, uh, my name is Joe Locaro, and I live in New York City. I'm a director, uh, and I work in film and television like my brother Kevin. Um, wow. My wife and I uh, started off as performers, and we did a lot of uh, Broadway musicals, and uh, we're still in the business. My wife is a casting director, and so she still works in the theater that way. And, wow. uh, and a fun story about how Kevin started with editing. I used to have to babysit him a lot when I was in high school, and uh, I wanted to have girlfriends, and I didn't want to babysit my brother. And so um, <laughs> I taught him how to do animation with with the little camera so he would do his animation and then i would spend time with my girlfriends and that's how yeah. we both got in the business <laughs> it, uh, it, it worked out <laughs> it worked out then years later after i stopped performing kevin taught me how to edit and so now i work in television and i also edit like kevin mm -hmm. So the girlfriends paid off in two different ways, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, and you're lucky, and you're lucky because you live in different states. So yeah. try to imagine what's happening if you if you live together in the same city. <laughs> I know it's true. It's true. <laughs> every every once in a rare while, Kevin and I get together and we make bad movies together. So mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, we're we're due. Or do, yeah. It's time yeah. for another horror movie. I think so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> so. Marianne, it's your yeah. turn now. Okay, I am the oldest cousin. I had the privilege of living in a house with my grandparents. And when I moved in, there were still five aunts and uncles that were living there. And I had, I felt that each of them were my parents. They were so good to me. But when I got in trouble, I got in trouble with all of them. So <laughs> that was kind of difficult. Uh, I was the first one to get a college education. And right after me, their father, he, he was starting to go to school at night. And we both became teachers. He became an industrial art teacher. And I became an elementary school teacher. And uh, we, my husband and I uh, got married in the 70s, and uh, the only place we could afford to live was up in Sussex County, which is a rural part of New Jersey. But every single weekend, we were down in Carlton Hill with the family. Wow. And wow. Um, everyone would say, why did you move so far away? You're too far. And I, I would say to them, well, if I could travel all the way down there, you could travel all the way up here. Uh, Beautiful. So we, we did have some family gatherings up here, which were were fun. Um, yeah, I, I remember did. that. Mary, you had the first microwave, which we were all like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, she, uh, she wrapped some bread in um, paper towel and put it in a microwave. And we were like shocked, like that, that can't happen, you know. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm retired now. I was privileged, <laughs> I was privileged once to see Sicily. You live in a very beautiful place. And um, of course, no one on the tour ever heard of my grandparents' house. And I was uh, grandparents' time, and I was a little disappointed in that. But it's it, and my grandparents loved Sicily, and they uh, they never intended to, I think, stay in the United States. They came to the United States, and they were they were hoping someday that they returned to Sicily. And my grandmother always promised me that she was going to take me to Sicily because she wanted me to see 
her house in the country, her house in the town, her house on the beach. So, yeah. so now I have four children of my own, and um, and I miss all the aunts and uncles and the grandparents, but I still feel that they're there, and I carry all the things that they gave me. This is beautiful. Wow. So you 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 keep. Uh, uh, the connection with the homeland in your heart. And uh, that's the most important thing, guys. All yeah. of you, I mean all of you, not only Marianne, because it's uh, uh, something related to your DNA. And nobody nobody will uh, will steal it, uh, will keep it away because it's, uh, it's your DNA. That's beautiful. That's right. And, yeah. and it's beautiful the way how, for example, Karen made this investigation. So I, I wrote that you you collect in your family about 300 people? Uh, I have, no, no, we have almost on the family tree that I've done, we're up to about 450 people. 450 people. So this is incredible. incredible. Wow. Yeah. So, oh, so Kathleen, I have, I, I, Kathleen, I it's, it's Kathleen Chan. Can I show you this? This is uh, oh, my, beautiful. That's my grandmother and my mother cooking pasta for pasta night. Uh, uh, just, just a moment. Metti lo schermo intero così lo vedo. Ah, uh, okay. Just, no, no, no. Uh, uh, stay, no, don't move. Don't move. Marianne, okay. don't move the picture. All right. It's in the original. Oh, yeah. Here we are again. <laughs> All right. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are free to eat whatever you want. <laughs> don't be shy. Uh, there are about uh, uh, 60, 61 person watching at you now. So it's... Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, we have the... Yes, oh, 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 oh. I didn't know. Yeah. Thank, thank yes. you, Lista Deus. This is beautiful. Thank you. So this is the power of connection. Uh, our friends on Facebook are helping us. I, frankly speaking, I didn't know this uh, this proverb. I understood the meaning, but uh, never heard in my life. So it's Kathleen's turn. Kathleen, why don't you say something about your story? Okay, so uh, the town that I live in right now is the town that I've been in for the last 68 years. Um, I live in a small little town outside of New York City, maybe about 12 miles from Manhattan, and just about a mile where Joe and Kevin and Karen and Mary Ann grew up. Uh, both of my grandparents on the maternal side are from Molta de Fermo. Actually, where uh, Karen's family's church is, um, my grandfather had a, a brother who was a priest, and he would say mass at the church opposite Karen's um, family's church, where uh, the St. Rocco's churches, well, right across the street from where City Hall is, was the church where my father, my grandfather's brother would say mass. And next a, door- a challenge. <laughs> was it a challenge, a competition? Yes, there was competition between the families. And then next door <laughs> to the church was my great grandfather's house, which I was able to see when I went to Sicily with Karen in 2018. And um, I believe it's for sale, um, probably still. And I hope Karen's brother Bobby will buy it and keep it in the family. <laughs> so, uh, and going into the priesthood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Kathleen. That's okay. <laughs> Um, and actually similar to, of course, the Lacaros and Marianne too, I was with my grandfather every Sunday. He would have about 20 people come for Sunday dinner. We lived right next door to my grandfather and he owned a tavern and um, a barber shop. 
And on Sundays when the tavern and the barbershop were closed, he would cook dinner for about 20 some odd people. Wow. And before wow. he came to America, he was a cook for some French prince or something, the story goes. So he would cook mainly French instead of um, Italian. But um, my mother's aunt carried on the tradition of Sicilian cooking. So I learned how to make um, arancini, the uh, oh. balls, which I enjoy very much. And um, one of the favorite things I like to make is eggplant caponata. Wow. Um, and uh, my mother, my mother you seen la our last broadcast with Gianca's mom making caponata. Did you see the last broadcast? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. oh. to watch. All my right. mom, my mom made uh, I think it's uh, her masterpiece. She's very, very good to make caponata, and uh, so uh, let's uh, let's take a, a look at this. Uh, all like right. broadcast it's about uh four four days ago yeah so you can you can check on facebook on also on youtube or on youtube uh, too okay. as well all right and then we'll have a cop and not a face off and see <laughs> who makes the best <laughs> but um i just wanted to comment that when i was growing up my mother would always tell me that um the only Italians there are are the Sicilian ones. And uh, my father was Napolitan. And she would say, no, they don't count. They want to be <laughs> Sicilians. But, uh, <laughs> this is another so, great challenge between Napolitan and Sicilian. Yeah, this yes. is amazing. <laughs> and it was um, just so exciting, the trip that Karen had put together for us in 2018 to go there where my roots are, you know, for both of my grandparents uh, on my maternal side. And uh, I hope to go back in 2021. And um, I and wait and we will wait for you. Oh, beautiful, good, okay. So uh, yeah, beautiful country, beautiful people. Um, I just have a question. Is it typical for Sicilians to always be angry? Because that was the atmosphere <laughs> growing up. <laughs> they were always mad, always fighting, always having arguments. My mother would throw a lot of pots and pans around and stamp her feet and do this all the time. <laughs> oh. Eating is our favorite job, right? My father used to have a saying. It was yelling. <laughs> Who's yelling? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it always what? started that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, uh, it's always the same. Uh, we, we didn't change uh, so much. So it's uh -huh. uh, something that uh, belongs to our habit. <laughs> yes. And if you will go to visit your relatives, be careful. <laughs> be careful. You cannot refuse if someone in Sicily offer you something to eat or something to drink you have to say yes please yes yes you cannot say no thanks it's terrible for a sicilian uh, uh you make you make yes. them angry so, so be careful oh, okay. <laughs> thanks for the warning yeah. no, that's, that's true i don't think i ever had any interaction with aunt joe without her making something um <laughs> I, I could walk manja, in. Manja, 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 manja. Yeah. Manja, yeah. You know, e, 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 manja yeah. che ti fa bene. Manja che ti fa sostanza. Manja, manja, manja. Mi vuoi un altro poco? Un altro poco? Amoni, mancitillo, mancitillo. Oh, that one. That's... Uh, <laughs> I remember mancitillo. that one. Amoni che la mallevare, la ma finire. La ma finire. Mancitillo, è, un mancitillo. è un peccato, è un peccato. Non ci lascia niente. Poi il romano non è buono, mancitillo ora. So, we are, we are talking about the several, um, how do you say, ways, excuses to, to say you have to eat. You have to eat, you can leave anything, 
because there are poor people, because the, the food tomorrow is not good uh, anymore. You, <laughs> I just say, there are many, many situations when people in Sicily uh, push you to eat all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I suggest you to accept because it's worse if you say no and people push you. <laughs> Every time, so. yeah, people. Uh, I just say they they are fans or uh, self themselves. So if you if you um, don't stop, uh, it's better. <laughs> it's our way to welcome you. Yeah, <laughs> it's our habit. It's very very strange. So guys, do you do you have some? Of course, not only Kathleen. I, I mean Karen and the... Also Karen. It's the turn of Karen and then we can ask. Okay, okay, okay. So Karen, <laughs> first... Uh... She's asking to, <laughs> to, uh, to say something. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's Karen's turn. My turn, my turn. Um, <clears throat> so I'm Karen Lucaro. And <clears throat> um, in, um, in Italy, we don't take on our husband's name, but my husband is Maurizio Mastrofini, and we have a son, Luca Mastrofini. Um, and the, the Mastrofini family is from outside of Rome, Monte Compatri. And it so happens that we found a house in the province of Lombardy that is on Viale Monte Compatri. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So, um, so this after seeing 22 houses and we saw that the name was uh, Viale Monte Compatri, we said, oh, this is our house because of course. the Mastrofini family comes from outside of Rome. <laughs> so, and um, I, uh, I, we grew up in East Rutherford and Kathleen grew up in Karlstadt, New Jersey. Um, I... I ended up going to university in New Jersey and uh, and I worked in New York uh, for Avon uh, in the, the fashion sector of, you know, the uh, the perfume company Avon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I that's where I worked <clears throat> for a little while. And then I just decided that I wanted to live in another country. And I was able to get Italian citizenship because my grandparents never renounced their Italian citizenship. Mm. And so through them, I got Italian citizenship. And in 1992, I moved to Italy. And um... so, Karen, first you moved to Italy and then you met your husband. You, no. You, you met him in uh, New York? In New York? I met Where? my husband through my ex-boyfriend. This <laughs> 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 is a great secret. This is a great story to tell. Ah, uh, yeah. My, I, I can't wait till my son Luca has children so I could tell this story to them. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry up, Luca. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm just kidding. Luca's 24. He's got time. He's got time. Uh, 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 my husband worked with my um, ex-boyfriend, Rob Johnson. In, uh, they had a training period for three months in Oregon. Uh, I, I'm going to try to make this the short version for the men because when I talk to women, it's really, really long story. <laughs> <laughs> extended, yeah. extended version. You are Sicilian, and that's why you are Sicilian. <laughs> I, th I think this is uh, uh, valid in general, all around the world, not only in Sicily or in uh, in New York. I think this is a common thing for all the women in uh, <laughs> in the world. <laughs> so my, he was in a training program in Oregon, on the other side of the country. Uh, with my ex-boyfriend and um, my ex-boyfriend, they had a two-week period in between. And he said, Maurizio, Maurizio, come to New Jersey and meet my girlfriend. She's Italian. She's Italian. Come and meet my girlfriend. So he did. And then he brought his, his Italian. 
Con la vissima hai fatto, Noa ci dicevo, con la vissima hai fatto. <laughs> And we took them um, to New York City, to the World Trade Center. We took them to my nephew's first birthday party, Brian, wow. uh, uh, Brian Robinson. Now he's a father of uh, one of so, the newest. So Brian, Brian is, the, is the guilty one. <laughs> well, well, we brought him to the, we brought Anna and Maurizio to the party. It was his yeah. first birthday party. Now he's 32 years old. And um, anyway, they, he went back to Italy. Three years go by. I decide to quit my job, leave my family, move to Italy. I want to feel the, what my grandparents felt as an immigrant. I had to call my ex-boyfriend to get the phone number of Maurizio. I wrote to Anna, she didn't write me back. I called two people in Milan, Paola Modigliani, who is the descendant of the Modigliani artist. The, the sculptor. And, yes, and uh, Maurizio, my first day. And first Paola, and Paola said, do you wanna have uh, dinner with me tonight? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. First day in Italy, yes, I, please. I want to have, I don't want to be alone. So, and then the second phone call was Maurizio. After three years that I hadn't seen, I said, do you remember me? Yes, yes, I remember you. I'll come right away. So he takes me around Milan and he was a guest at my parent, my mother's house. So he said, do you want, I have an extra bedroom. Do you want to stay with me? Instead uh -huh. of in a hotel, I said, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, that, that evening I had dinner with Paola. And she said, you know, my brother saw your resume, your curriculum, and he wants to talk to you. So I tell everybody, the first day I arrived in Italy, I found a job and a husband. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. You're very right. lucky. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect day, Lorraine would say. <laughs> so anyway, so it's 28 years. It, this year, on October 16th, which is my father's birthday, will be exactly 28 years that I have lived in the United States and 28 years that I have lived in Italy. Wow. 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 So you have, you have to celebrate. Yeah. It, it's uh, it's incredible. It's an important year for you. So it's the uh, <laughs> entire life divided into important parts. Yeah. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> so we, I think we have to have uh, you help us decide uh, a family question that is over a generation old. We do not know, or at least my brother and I don't know, is the name Locaro, Locaro, or is it Locaro? And it Karen depends. spells it Locaro. It depends, it. Uh, Joe. It's, uh, Normally it's Locaro. It, it could be separated, divided, or it could be joint. Uh, there, there is no a rule, okay? You can, uh, you can find uh, both uh, names. Okay. Uh, our name, Joe, is separated because when you mm. get Italian citizenship, you must get it from Moto da Fermo. Ah. And the Locaro name in Moto da Fermo is Lo Carro. And if you okay. go to the Lyndhurst uh, Cemetery and see our grandparents' tombstone, it is separated. Lo ah. Carro. Kevin, we've okay. been living yeah. in all these years. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, I, that's I, I, it. I, I, <laughs> I, I have to say honestly that uh, all these uh, names um, mean um, how do you say law in in Italian is the article, so it's just like that in English. So it means uh, uh, you are talking about uh, uh, an object, you are talking about uh, a profession. So usually they are separated. Uh, a color, for example, lo russo means uh, the red one, or uh, where else? Lo, lo bianco, so, lo verde, all, all colors. Yeah, 
become um, family names. So, but some, sometimes they are united, they are joined in a, one word. But the rule, there, there is no rules, of course, but in the origin, they, they yeah. were uh, talking about, they were meaning um, a profession or uh, something related to, to a person. Uh, Lobiundo, for example, Lobiundo is another common family name. It means the blonde one, Lobiundo. So that blonde, it's the, this is the rule. So Locarro actually should be divided. Ah, okay. And is Cardo wagon? Yeah. So we're yeah. the wagon. Okay. It's a, it's a more than a wagon. It's a cart. Uh -huh. Because okay. it's very, it's uh, older than the wagon. Yeah. Cart. So, you know, the Sicilian cart. You mm. say, u carrito. Carrito means uh, small carro in Sicilian. Carro is, uh, is the big. Carrito is the, the small cart. The, the traditional oh. Sicilian cart uh, using to, to transport vegetables, to transport food, sometimes people. Uh, so that's the meaning of carro, not wagon. Wagon is uh, something modern. Modern, yeah. Okay. But we are, we are talking about something uh, uh, of the 1600th century or even uh, earlier. So no, no wagon at the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mother used to say it meant prince, but now we know it's cart. <laughs> 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 Joe, jo, show your bottle of oil. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Show your so, bottle. So Karen has arranged with all of her trips to Monte del Fermo. She has become friends with uh, an olive oil maker. Uh, his name is uh, Giuseppe Cuva. Giuseppe Cuva. And so Karen brought olive oil back, and then Kathleen was the distributor for all of our family in New wow. Jersey. And wow. so um, I had the crazy idea, since it was coming from Mota, that I wanted to call it Mota oil. And so, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so for the family, I made labels, and I designed a label. And this is this is the label, if you could see it. Look at this. No, 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 please, Rosella, uh, switch to the, yes. to the main camera. Wait one minute. One, sure. one, one, one second. One second, one second. I take my glasses. Wow, <laughs> Mota oil, wonderful. Oh, you're so amazing. I want to uh, pursue my Sicilian dream of having a olive oil company. <laughs> <laughs> this, is the, this is the real thing. That's the real one, yeah. Wow, that's, that's the real beautiful. one. Wow. And, and they are in Mota da Fermo. Yeah, it's delicious. Yes. Yeah. We we should uh, we should visit it. Yeah. Rosella. Yes. Everybody, everybody watching this, go to Moto da Ferma and Tusa and go when it is the Rito, Rito di Luce, which is the solstice yes. summer, and there is the fum, Fumaria Arte. Fumara d'arte, Fumara d'arte. Yeah. yeah. Yes, the pyramid, and they have all artists there and dancers and musicians. And everything is white and silent and beautiful. So everyone go to Malta because they need visitors. And Malta, keep, keep, eh, dovete ancora um, fare tanti, tanti fiori e fai bella, bella, bella Malta Tusa. We will, we will go to Malta and uh, Cast also Castel di Tusa, not only Tusa. Uh, it's one of my favorite places, one of my favorite locations in Sicily. Um, you know, guys, uh, Great beach also. We, are, we are talking about uh, a village, Tusa, that's divided in uh, the, the main, the main village is called Tusa, but they have just like a marina, they have uh, um, an area by the sea called Castel di Tusa. And uh, I think it's one of the most beautiful um, beaches in Sicily. Not a sandy beach. They have uh, stones. Stones, yeah. Yeah, cobbled stones. And, uh, but one of the, the clearest uh, water ever 
um, a beautiful promenade, a beautiful landscape. They make a wonderful, delicious uh, cherry granita. Yeah. Um, and Jelsey. And Jelsey and Melbourne's. Melbourne's. Wonderful. Yes. If if you go if you go there, don't miss this opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Karen, please say again the name of the company who produced the olive oil. Uh, uh, Giuseppe Cuva. Giuseppe Cuva. Okay. Cuba. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and there is also a beautiful agriturismo, La Patina, which is in the middle of olive orchards, and they have a yeah. beautiful pool. And that's where we're going to stay. That's where we stayed in 2018, and we're going to stay there again in 2019. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm making, no, I'm but... making a little bit of uh, publicity for Malta. It's your oh. sister. Oh, I am... Jane Locaro is watching us. <laughs> I'm in USA saying I kept my yeah. last name first. I'm Karen's older sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ciao, Jane. Ciao, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao Jane, where is my hand? Ciao Jane. <laughs> Jane, Jane. Jane wrote a song about Joe when we were little kids. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard the song, so I don't know what it is. I'm a little nervous. This is <laughs> Do you want me to sing it? <laughs> oh, she knows it. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh oh. <clears throat> You never heard this song? Jane's I never heard this song, no. Jane's going to be mad at me. <laughs> Hi, Jane. I'm sorry. Here it goes. Joey, you are so dear to me. My Joey. <laughs> Jane, Jane and I were kissing cousins. That's what they called us, yes? Oh. <laughs> we had to practice. <laughs> you had to practice for the girls that you had when you gave Ke Kevin that job with the editing. That's right. That's right yeah. <laughs> oh my guys, God. wonderful. <laughs> You're so funny, guys. <laughs> yeah, we do laugh a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great Kevin, opportunity to, Kevin, to. Kevin sings in a choir. He has a mm -hmm. beautiful voice. Joe, of course, sang on Broadway, so he's got a beautiful voice. And then here I am, who doesn't have a voice, and I'm the one singing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. What is the Sicilian dish you love the most? Hmm. Cannoli. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think um, our grandmother made, our grandmother actually taught my mother, who's Hungarian descent, Mm -hmm. who was not a cook, and she taught her how to make breaded eggplant. Mm. And um, I would say that that is one of my favorite dishes that from, we, chi from childhood that was always we made. We made a live broadcast about... about have, we made I everything. Have, I have to go back and watch all those cooking yes. shows because I love the I love to watch the cooking shows. I watched the one with the towers, the vegetable towers. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm going to make that one, but I have to go back and watch the others. And I want to... the picture of this dish you are going to prepare. Okay. Send me a picture. Okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite uh, Sicilian dish too. You say breaded eggplants or uh, cutlet? Because, because um, a t um, my husband's favorite dish is uh, uh, melanzane alla parmigiana. Mm. But the, the Sicilian, the way my grandmother made it, was much different. It was just breaded. Uh, it was, uh. um, you know, salted, take the water out, slice. Yeah. There were slices. Then it was put in the uh, egg then breaded, then fried, then layered yep. with uh, tomato sauce, some uh, basil, a little bit of Parmesan. 
until you got to the top and then there was oregano and uh, oh it's and a mix it's a mix between yeah. the braided egg plants and, and parmigiana, parmigiana. And parmigiana. Yeah, a yeah good combination a very little parmigiana it's not a lot of parmigiana like my husband makes but we we don't braid it in uh, the um, the original recipe no parmigiana is not braided yeah no. Uh, so I, I thought you mean the um, the cutlets, so that cutlets are breaded and uh, they are and completely that, different from egg, parmigiana. This is, yeah, this is the eggplant that my that my grandmother taught my mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, of course, this is uh, ev everything Mary, is uh, yeah. everyone. Yeah, Marion, do you make eggplant like uh, Grandma did? No, my husband doesn't like eggplant. Oh my God! Uh, what? Just like uh, no. just like Frank Ragusa, uh. another friend of us who, who don't, doesn't eat it's any a mystery. Eggplant. It's a mystery. It's a mystery. It's unbelievable. Her, her husband is not Italian, so he's, he's Hungarian forbidden. and German. But Frank Ragusa is Italian. Uh, that's the reason why. Maybe we have to convert to Frank Ragusa. Yes. No, Frank, Frank said, perhaps I don't like uh, eggplants because in Canada, in Montreal, we, we don't have any, any good eggplants. So if you, if you, guys, if you come to Sicily, you will enjoy the best eggplants in the world. Oh, I, I, love, is, I like it. Sure. I love eggplants. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, I grow a big vegetable garden and so does my brother Gus. And He's always saying, are you growing any eggplants? I said, no, I'm not growing any eggplants, but he does every year. <laughs> Mariana, uh, what about your favorite dish? My favorite dish that yes. my grandmother Zillian, made? of course. Yes. I, I think that my favorite dish that my grandmother made, I call it, uh, my mother told me it's called eggs in purgatory. Did you ever hear of that? Eggs in purgatory. Eggs in purgatory. Purgatory. Uova imperatore. Ah, ok. No. Purgatorio. Purgatorio. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. I don't know what it is. It was I the tomato, tomato sauce and she would drop eggs in and then ah. it cooked like, like uh, sunny side eggs and, she, and then she'd give you a nice piece of Italian bread and oh my goodness. It was delicious. <laughs> and so you good. still you still prepare this dish? Are you able to do this? I'm it's sorry? very easy. Do you still prepare this dish? No, I haven't prepared it in years, <laughs> unfortunately. Mm. <laughs> it's like the well, uh, today, today I was telling, maybe I think I'll try it tonight. <laughs> okay, that's that, that's fine. We send, send pictures. Yes, yes. Send the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Joe and Kevin? Because we know that uh, uh, Kathleen's uh, favorite one is uh, uh, Caponata. And so, Joe and Kevin, what about... No, about, no, uh, they already said cannoli. Ah, cannoli. Joe, yes. Joe, said, <laughs> Joe said cannoli. Okay. I remember. Right. Yeah. Now, are, yeah. Are, are pine nuts from Sicily? What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, from Sicily. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we, my, my father used to take Kevin and I to this bakery in Lodi where they would make pignoli cookies. Yes. Yeah. With the, yeah, pine, yeah. the pine nuts. And yeah. the only thing that I do now is I make uh, a a toasted pine nut and olive oil sauce for spaghetti. Wow! So, wow! Uh, Bravo! Bravissimo! Lemone <laughs> and uh, basil, and then fresh tomatoes mixed with pasta. So. That's the only thing that I cook that I think is Sicilian. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. However, no I, matter if Sicilian or not, this is great. <laughs> I did go no to a, a pizza place before the pandemic kicked in, and they were serving Sicilian pizza, which I haven't seen in about thirty years. So it was it was bad, but <laughs> they had it. <laughs> yeah, as it is, Italian food in California is questionable at best. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, our our mother was Dutch, and she always mixed Dutch food and Italian food into a mystery meal. <laughs> we never knew what we were eating, but we knew that it came from the refrigerator. That's it. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. The most important thing: it was good. <laughs> it was all stew, stew. Uh huh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so guys, we we look forward to to meeting you in person and uh, giving the opportunity to to enjoy the best Sicilian food in person. Uh, I, I I'm working on your tour, so in the next days we will uh, uh, you will receive my itinerary and uh, of course uh we are at your disposal to include everything because we have no limits uh also cannoli of course kevin yeah uh, joe sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, i'll have it too that's fine <laughs> <laughs> and you too <laughs> let me see if there are uh any question for you Excellent mm -hmm. sauce they call it X in Souls. Where, Janka? Maria Stump. Ah, okay. So this is, a, yes, X in Souls. Okay. <laughs> Karen, I don't know, read this. Karen makes a mean lasagna. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll, second him, and I'll second that. I was um, at Karen's house in 2018, and she made a fabulous lasagna. I'm not a big lasagna fan, but that was outstanding. That was exceptionally good. And because they're not used to, in the United States, they make it with ricotta. They're not used to bichamella. So I made yeah. it the real Italian way, and so... It was extremely. This is, the, this is the way. This is the way with with, with bechamel, not with ricotta. Yeah. I have to say that um, my my wife uh, is cannot eat wheat, and so we have discovered this wonderful Italian corn pasta, and then we make uh, a gluten free lasagna yeah. with the corn yeah. pasta. Uh, many many people here in Italy are the same mm -hmm. issue, the same problem. Also Rosella and perhaps also me. So we we are now uh, discovering new uh, ingredients such as <laughs> rice, such as um, also. But I have to say, um, perhaps if you are uh, if your wife uh, tries the uh, ancient grains, the ancient uh, Sicilian wheats, uh, perhaps something uh, will be better. I'm, of course, I'm not. Uh, uh, a physician, but um, they say the flowers in the new um, new grains, new new wheat is um, something uh, modified by genetics, so it's uh, not so healthy. Uh, and we are now discovering the ancient grains such as uh, Tuminia, Perciasaki, yeah. um, very very uh, important uh, grains. Uh, no, not grains, uh, wheats. Uh, they they belong to our uh, very whole tradition, to our heritage, and they are very he healthy. So perhaps uh, it could be a solution for your wife. Well, I think we just all need to move to Italy. That's it. <laughs> Mota. <laughs> Mota, to Mota, yeah, yeah. To Mota. Guys, uh, Karen, we have a request for you. Look at this. I need a house. <laughs> 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 well, how old is she? I, Luca, my son. My son, Luca. So, not, but perhaps the, the correct question is not where in Italy, but when in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the day? October? <laughs> you remember the day? Karen? Oh, October 16. Yeah. October 16. So of course, perhaps uh, she she needs uh, a different date, but uh, <laughs> not to where, but when. Yes, yes. We yes, we say yes, due piccioni con una fava. You yes. you you take uh, to targets with same. Uh... <laughs> well, I'll tell her to send the picture of her daughter. Um, on my Facebook page or Messenger, and then I'll send it to my son. And if he likes it, well, you know, <laughs> you know my grand, my our grandparents, they were uh, an arranged marriage, and uh, my grandfather went on a, a donkey with his father down the valley up to Tusa, and they knocked on the door of this fanchula. 
and um, the parents talked and my grandmother was in one corner of the room and my grandfather was in the other. And someone told me, because I never met my grandparents, but someone told me that my grandmother said, ah, he's cute. Ah, carino, è carino. Yeah, cute. Yeah. Matchmaking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, That's uh, a so I'm sure my, I'm sure Luca is, is really angry now that I told him. <laughs> 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 He's watching me now. He's like, Mom, oh, yeah, shut up, Mom. He's got to love that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe she's cute. Maybe she's cute. Forse <laughs> carina. <laughs> San Fratello, uh, please read the comment this one? from Earth Zappa. So, uh, San Fratello, let's say something. San Fratello is in the province of Messina, but uh, closer to Messina than to our uh, Otto da Fermo. Uh, it's a small village heart, so uh, actually we... We should uh, make uh, uh, a year uh, tour to see everything in Sicily, not uh, a weekly tour or a 10 days tour. Uh, but San Fratello, I, I would say something. San Fratello is the homeland of Al Pacino's uh, grandfather. Oh. So it's, uh, it's very, very important in, uh, in Sicily for a couple of reasons. One is the homeland of Al Pacino, and uh, the second reason is that they speak French. Uh, so their dialect is French, not Sicilian. This is incredible. Wow. San Fratello. Maybe Maori? And, and Maybe also the they... Prince. Uh, yeah. The prince that Kathleen's uh, grandfather <laughs> yes. was in San Fratello. Yeah. And the third reason to... Because San Fratello is uh, so important, they have a, a, a great race of horses. The oh. horses from San Fratello are beautiful. Ah. Uh, How far west do you go? <laughs> I want to say hello to Mary Nitopoulos. Oh, She's... hello, Mary. <laughs> Mary, you are the next uh, uh, inviting in, uh, in the, the next the next guest. No, the next is uh, Lisa Spadafora and the ah, other and then, family. And then, sorry, and then, then uh, we have John Mercurio. And so then <laughs> we can plan a, a live broadcast with you, Mary Mitsopoulos, also because she is a proud Sicilian. Yeah. <laughs> we we had the pleasure to, to have um, Mary Mitsopoulos, uh, her husband, and uh other two two guys in sicily last what what september 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 yeah. yeah we went to the east side of sicily what a beautiful uh day with them to to marzamemi to noto uh we went to their um homeland in um in, in Pozzallo, no Pozzallo it was uh sorry i don't remember <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> uh, so no, I, I would like to to see the comment. I would like to to know also what their ancestors tell them about Sicily. Yeah. So guys, <laughs> this is an important question. Um, what me, what did what did your ancestors tell tell about uh, about Sicily uh, in one word? I, I don't want to ask you all the heritage, all the stories, but in one word, uh, what did Sicily represent for your uh, grandparents? It's hot. Marianne's daughter is um, letting her hear it better, the question, because she didn't hear it. So, uh, Marianne, they want to know in one word, what your grandparents instilled in you about Sicily? What, what, in one word, would you say that grandma and grandpa gave you about Sicily, gave to you about Sicily? One word. <laughs> or one phrase. 
Yeah. Yes, maybe one word. It's a difficult. And, it, and if you if you would like to, um, how do you say, uh, to share in one word your feeling about Sicily uh, with your uh, grandchild, grandchilds, grand grandchildren. Sorry. <laughs> uh so the same one word that represents sicily for you well well i like i said they love sicily and they told me that i guess they told me that the weather was always nice mm -hmm. and um that uh they were very close to the church but that's um uh, that's a lot of words so mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, let let me think about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Kathleen. Um, for me, unfortunately, I never met my maternal grandmother. She had passed away when my mother was only fourteen. But I did say earlier that I lived with my grandfather, and I was seven when he passed away. But just. Um, Looking back at my mother's family, she was one of six children. I would have to say that the word that comes to me is um, strength and strong. They were really a powerhouse group, just like the Lacaros. Um, could do anything, could tackle any problem. And I believe it was because of their Sicilian background and heritage. Um, the fact that, as Karen described earlier, them coming to America with nothing, knowing no one, not even the language. Um, yeah. When I was 21, I wanted to go to California, but was scared out of my mind. And here I am in the same country. But, um, you know, here they left their, their homeland and came to a new place and um, before this show, I know I'm talking longer than I should, but I just want to put this out there. Um, my brother has been working on our family tree also, and he brought up a lot of different things that we discovered when our grandparents landed in Ellis Island, how they changed their last name because the person who was registering them did not understand the Italian accent, perhaps. So last names got changed, first names got changed. Um, when we looked on the manifesto, we could see even the name Molta de Fermo, um, the immigration agents were not able to write the correct spelling of yeah. Molta de Fermo. So, um, you know, just imagine these immigrants coming and, yeah. you know, absolutely knowing no one and anything. So to yeah. me, the image I get is strength and that, you know, it was passed on to their children and um, generations and generations after that. So. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank okay. you so much. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. My, my my one word is family. Yeah. It's also beautiful. So yeah. true. We, we can't comment it because it's uh, so rich. So, so yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are all family, guys. This is uh, uh, it's bigger than us. Yeah. This is not a word. This is our... Uh, our, I don't know, our destiny, our yeah. origin, our, it's everything. And Frank is so right. They were very courageous. Yeah. yeah. Because they crossed the world yeah, to they, find they, out they, a better life. But he, they, they um, didn't know what aspect them. It was a brand new world. Yeah. yeah. Brand new world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I I must say that you know all of us, even though some of us have gone into different fields and have gone in different directions uh, in our lives, we're all a direct descendants from our grandparents. They shaped the entire family. Mm 
Yes. And all of the brothers were all in construction and they passed that on to all of their sons and all the daughters were all big, a part of this big family that was very close together. So uh, we all have that in common, even though we've gone into some different businesses and different careers, we still have that base that was created by our grandparents. True, right. Because, because they, your, your bases are very good, very strong. You know, you, you can build a skyscraper if you have solid bases. And right. you, your bases are strong. Mm. This is your secret, guys. And you have to be proud of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you are proud Sicilians uh, <laughs> around the world. <laughs> Stone masons it lasts for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, won't you say something? Oh my God! The next family photo, we have to all do that. <laughs> well, even even when Bobby and uh, uh, the Locaro family it was hosted by Karen's family, they hosted a reunion. It was called the Ravioli Reunion. Mm -hmm. I, I have a picture. Raviolis were my grandmother's specialty. Yeah. We we used to have ravioli with ricotta cheese and spinach. It's a yeah. great combination. Oh, Fresh okay. ravioli. And a, a, a great uh, tomato sauce. Tomato course. sauce. I, I love it. There is it was, a, it, it was a whole a pasta project. maker. There is a pasta maker just few few steps far from my house. He makes a special ravioli, and I I go crazy, guys. I, <laughs> I, 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 could, <laughs> I am a good fork, but I I could uh, eat uh, a big big amount. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Where are you showing? Uh, uh, put in the oh, wait, wait. in the wide. Uh, <laughs> You see the raviolis? Wow, but well, that's it now. Oh! It's huge. <laughs> no, wonderful. How Sorry. many kilos? This is the Guinness ravioli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's uh, brother Bobby would organize the raviolis and the, the whole family would make them all day long. Here, here's Joe making them, Donna. Um, wait, wait. Can you wow. see this? They're making the raviolis on an old ping pong table my father made. Wow. At the basement of my parents' house. Beautiful. Wow. How do you have ravioli, guys? Which the is your shirt. favorite uh, recipe? Oof. Bolognese sauce. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, ricotta, ricotta, uh, and uh, tomato sauce on top. Butternut squash and sage butter dressing. I'm wow. coming to your house. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the most delicate. I know. Let me read this comment because it's truly touching. So let's let's see what Frank's uh, Frank wrote. They obviously didn't have internet, maps, books, and little no education. They didn't speak the language and had little to no money. They had no idea what to expect and what to do. Yet they preserved and raised families and established strong roots in Canada and the U.S. Many years later we can speak of our proud parents, grandparents and ancestors. We have a lot of we have a lot to thank them for. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Frank. Yes. This is beautiful. Yeah. They are they are our roots. And that's why we decide to create these uh, uh, new Oh, look at this beautiful episodes. picture. Wow. This is beautiful. How many people are in this picture? <laughs> we, have, we have the privilege to see the picture uh, in advance. But now, Rosella, please put in the wide version. The, the full? The full version, yeah. 
So guys, I want to introduce you the Locaro family. No, 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 the uh, full version. Yeah, I, I have to, you have to stop to speak. This is the Locaro family at the last Locaro reunion in Carlton Hill, East Rutherford, New Jersey, with about 80 Locaros. Wonderful. This is fantastic. 80 person in one picture. This is a Guinness. <laughs> this, is, this is the biggest family ever. <laughs> so what, I, I what want to great family. I want to invite our friends on Facebook, on our community to do something better. So guys, if you have a bigger family than 80 person. <laughs> Please <laughs> show the picture. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a, 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 so a great. So exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is touching. <laughs> and we have to thank you to be here this night. For us, it's night, of course. For you, it's day. But uh, only for Karen. Yes, only for Karen. <laughs> is, uh, only, <laughs> it's time to <laughs> to sleep in, in Italy. Yes, and this is amazing. And that's why we decide to create this uh, uh, new uh, broadcast uh, um, series. It's uh, it's Sunday. Yeah. So, guys. If you don't know, each Sunday at uh, 10 p.m. Italian time, uh, you will uh, you will discover beautiful stories uh, like the Locaro family, stories of proud Sicilian around the world, and uh, we are how do you say we look forward to uh, to listening to your uh, beautiful stories. Uh, next Sunday, would you say something about the next appointment? Yes, we have scheduled an appointment with the Sparafora family from Kakamo. Uh, we had the pleasure to meet them in Kakamo last uh, February. Just last February. Last February, they were our uh, last clients in Sicily before before the, before, before the, the lockdown. Uh, we still remember they they were so lucky to to come to Sicily to visit Sicily and just in time and come back just in time to your next states before the lockdown. Yeah. Um, but now we look forward for new My clients. Husband. It's your husband, right? Oh, <laughs> Maurizio, let me see your Maurizio husband. Maurizio oh. Mastrofini. <laughs> nice to meet you, Maurizio. You have a beautiful and That's wonderful special, special wife. wife. You are a very lucky man. <laughs> Tell him ten times, please. Tell him ten times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right in the... <laughs> in the comments, <laughs> Maurizio, you are very lucky. You have a special let, wife. Let me, let me, let me do his. <laughs> Maurizio, scrivere anche in italiano. Very. No. Attaccato. <laughs> Sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> Where is the banner? I don't see it. <laughs> Maurizio, no, 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 Maurizio. Karen, take a picture and show him every time, every morning when he gets up. When he gets up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is great because I have a picture of everybody. <laughs> Print this Print. picture. <laughs> Maurizio, we are in the same position. We are men, we are slaves. <laughs> they have the power. <laughs> I, I'm trying to, to find some solidarity with other men karen please don't uh, don't beat me it's it's time for the yelling to start <laughs> <laughs> he's lucky too <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's riding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, can hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey. Hello, Mike. Hey, Who's I'm Mike? Who? And Who's and Mike? And, and Louis. Mike is our cousin. Mike is our is Rocco. Rocco. Uh, Ciao, Mike. He's the uh, son of Rocco. They had four. They have four children. Wow. And and he married a war bride. Tina, Aunt Tina was from Naples. Oh. Yeah. And they got married in Naples and they had their honeymoon in Capri. And then she couldn't come to, to the United States for maybe a year. She had to wait till Ro Uncle Rocky went to the, the United States after the war. And she had to wait for her paperwork so that she could meet, to go, go with him. Will they come to Sicily next year? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. Um, uh, Kathleen is planning. Uh, Joe is planning. May, it may be Marianne if she feels okay with her knees. Um, well, when are you planning it? Uh, June uh, June 10th is the, uh, the date that everybody leaves the United States. They arrive. You arrive in Catania on June uh -huh. 11th. Uh -huh. And the tour goes from... Catania to Mount Etna to Taramina to Santo Stefano, Mota for the Ritiro di Luce, the, the, the uh, light festival. Yeah. And, um, and then we go to Tusa to see the uh, ruins of the theater. And then um, from there, uh, we, we will leave uh, from the Palermo airport. But okay. there's one yeah. town. Oh, we go to Cerfalu because I have my my cousins in Cerfalu. Ciao, Santi. Ciao, Giovanni. Santi. Ciao, Nena. Uh, <laughs> so our cousins in uh, Cerfalu, and um, and then there's another town, and I can't remember, but it's on the list um, that I want to see. So some people will do a short trip, and some people will do a long trip. Okay. And of course, okay. I'll be on the long trip. And Jane is coming, my sister, and um, our, the youngest uh, of the family, Nancy. Her name was Annunziata, and they changed it to Nancy. <laughs> her three daughters are coming: Donna, who came with us in 2018, Carol, and Debbie. So a big, big group. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guys, we, we look, are ready. Yeah. We look forward. We look yeah, forward. Yeah, there was another another branch, uh, the, the Giuseppe Locaro branch, the great granddaughter Susan. Um, she may or may not come, but she was planning on coming. But now, with uh, her her uh, daughter's wedding is um, changed, so she may not be able to. But who knows? Maybe maybe I said, who bring knows? your daughter. Bring your daughter too. <laughs> Yeah, Every, everybody, everybody to come to Sicily. Everybody, <laughs> bring your daughters to meet Luca. Yeah. <laughs> she's getting married. Joe, she's getting married. <laughs> we don't want cousins. We don't want cousins. Now. <laughs> I want to have healthy grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, okay, guys. Oh, guys. <laughs> it, it's time. It's time to to finish, but uh, we we should uh, uh, go on for a uh, for a week. <laughs> the the only, the only problem, Kevin can understand me. We have to edit this video and to upload on uh, YouTube, YouTube, and uh, it's very difficult if you if you go on because the uh, YouTube do doesn't um, how to say allow big big files. And, and we now we have a very uh, slow connection, interconnection. So <laughs> this is the only reason why we have to stay in uh, in a hour, a hour and a half, but no, no more. No, it's two hours. This one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> tomorrow I, I will be in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> for a, Perhaps I have to leave my computer working during the night, during the <laughs> entire night. <laughs> it's just past my bedtime. It's already almost 12 o'clock. Yes. Uh, it's okay. It's good. We have spent a great time all together. Yes. 
We recharged our soul. We say il tempo vola. Time is Everything. flying when you, you spend a great time. So <laughs> I didn't realize that yeah. it's incredible. <laughs> I, I, th I thought it was uh, one hour and 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Time. I think we when need it, to. When uh, you spend I think we need to arrange a uh, international ravioli reunion. Mm. That's we, the next we, step. Yeah. We, could, we could make an experiment. We could make, uh, I just say, a shared show cooking yeah. about ravioli. So everybody will make his own ravioli and we will uh, challenge each other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It could be. Could be interesting. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. Thank, okay. thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Our hearts are, are overwhelmed with joy. But now we have the most difficult part of this <laughs> live broadcast because we have to say all together what normally I used to say alone. But it's impossible. No, 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 no. We, we have people we in Milan. We have people in California. Oh, we have people no. in New Jersey. We have people in Sicily. So mm -hmm. perhaps we can say something different this time. Mm -hmm. Love, acts, and kisses to all the Sicilian people around the world. Mm, okay, okay, that's mm -hmm. right. Okay. So let's try, guys. Love, acts, and people. Hey, love, uh, acts, and kisses. <laughs> love. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> say it. Say you. Love, acts, and kisses to all. Proud Sicilians all around the world. So let's do it together. So one, two, three. Love, Love and, and kisses, kisses, kisses to, to all, all Sicilians all around, around the world. world. <laughs> Tutto il mondo. Tutto il mondo. Tutto il mondo. Ciao. Ciao, we yeah. love you. <laughs> ciao, 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 bye. ciao guys, ciao, ciao, wow. have a good day, okay. thank you, take care, ciao, grazie, grazie mille, thank you.